Okay, I've had a few people contact me um, because their pins were slipping, usually on the long strings. I'm doing this one as a demonstration just because it's easier at the moment. Um, you'll notice that this string, the blue one, comes over this pin, which is called the bridge pin, and it angles away from the neck when it goes to the tuning pin. If you do this on the longer strings, the tension on that string will push that pin into the neck, which will loosen it and allow it to un unwind. So if you're tuning a long string, and as soon as you take the tuning wrench off, you can see it move or you can hear the tone go down, the odds are that your string is doing this. Now to fix this is fairly simple. All you do is unwind the string a little bit and then push on this part of the string that, and move the windings out. Um, I, let's see if we can do it while still filming. Sorry, this is kind of awkward by yourself. So if you loosen the string and then slide it down, it'll wind farther up on the pin and then one second. And then, there we go. When you push that in, see how the winding here is over to the right, towards the neck? That's what you need to do. Just move the winding, the last winding over, and then wind it up. And you'll see that that string no longer shoots away from the neck. Now, if you um, want to really make sure, you can slide it a little bit farther so that it crosses over the bridge pin and goes inward towards the neck. And I'll show you that. We'll just, oops, sorry. Like so and you'll see that the string comes inward. On the two bottom strings specifically, that's a fairly good angle. Um, I prefer them to be straight, but if you're having a problem with slippage, then that's a good place to start. And then when you go to tune it, you just push inwards towards the neck and wiggle a little bit, and the pin will seat farther into the neck, which increases the friction and should keep it in place. Hope that helps.